What's up, guys? Jay, more than half a kill, and I'm back here on Borderlands 2. And this is day 21 of the Borderlands 2 Great Loot Hunt, which is a contest being held by Gearbox, where each day they give us a daily target. We gotta kill that daily target, pick up the special, unique weapon that they will be dropping, and then we need to go kill and fulfill a community goal. Except today, we are gonna be getting our community goal reward. But... In doing this, you are also getting entries into a sweepstakes that Gearbox is giving away physical merchandise and cash prizes. But if you're not in America, you're not eligible for the physical merchandise or the cash prizes. I don't make the law. I'm sorry. This is Gearbox's rule. Gearbox said the laws differ all over the world, so only America counts. You got a problem with that? Take it up with Gearbox. Take it up with Gearbox. <laughs> I can't do nothing about it. I don't work for Gearbox. Although, I, that, that would be kind of cool. Gearbox, hire me. I'll fix your game and make everybody love it again. <laughs> so, all right. What we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fight Rouge. Now, to find Rouge, we are going to have to beat the Hammerlock DLC. Because this mission, I'm pretty sure, doesn't show up with Hammerlock until you finish out this DLC. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find Hammerlock inside of the lounge after we beat the DLC. And he's going to have a mission called Big Feet. Now, this is actually a pretty easy mission. Because the only thing you have to do is fast travel out to Candle Rack's Crag. And then if you come around this bend right here, you will see this whole little area to the right that is sectioned off by these bones. Now, once you go through here, there will be a green track laying on the ground. It will be glowing green. That's the only track you need to find. You just click Discover on it. And once you do, all you have to do is run all the way up the mountain. You don't have to fight all these scalons. Although, you know, if you are on OP8, they're going to fuck you up on the way up there. And you're probably going to die. So you're probably going to have to fight your way through here if you're on OP8. If you're on any other level, you could probably make it through all right. But what you're going to do is stick to the right of the mountain and you will find Rouge. But don't do what I did and walk ass backwards off the edge of the mountain because, you know, this is, this is what happens to me when I play video games. I don't know why. My mechanic, he steals my car. I fall off fucking mountains. And even check this out. Look at this. I'm riding a skate line in Fight for Your Life. I'm just like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. Weird shit happens when I play video games. So, back to the story. We're here trying to fight Rouge, and Rouge is actually pretty easy. I'm pretty sure all of you guys should have an unkempt herald by now inside of your uh, backpack. So just go ahead, pull that out, blast them through, and uh, it takes pretty much like 30 seconds to kill Rouge. Not even not even hard on OP8. Uh, watch out for the stampers, though. Uh, these little fucking Rouges that come out of here, uh, they will fuck you up, especially on OP8. I call them stampers because they kind of just stand there and stamp their feet on the lower levels. But on OP8, they're kind of quick, and they like to butt you. And with, uh, you know, health gate in this game, it's going to take you down to, like, 12% of your health. And that's not good, because then Rouge will just start spitting this shit all over you and fucking you up. But the rewards for today are going to be the Skull Masher as the community ward, and we also have the Baby Maker. Now, the Baby Maker actually got a buff today. It got a little bit of a damage buff, and it's actually noticeable. I was using this standalone as just, you know, the baby maker, OP8, and against corrosive uh, weak enemies, it was doing pretty decent, so that's actually pretty good for the baby maker. But let's talk about, let's talk about this skull masher, Randy. Come here, Randy. Step on in here. I want you to have, have, have a seat, Randy. Have a seat. There's Kool-Aid and cookies on the counter. All right. Now, in the chat log, you said you wanted the blanker. No! It's the wrong show. <laughs> All right, Randy, Gearbox, anybody that's listening. Who? You feel me? That's, that's all I got. What? Who? What? Who makes the decisions? Like, seriously. The only thing you had to do to this weapon was just take the projectiles off the card. The, the B is a sniper shield. This is a sniper. It should fuck shit up from a distance. But, uh... I... I... 
I don't get it. Like, you, you had the golden opportunity with the Creamer to bring that up to at least, like, between Nukem and Norfleet. And now you have the Fastball, which actually turned into a semi-game changer because it can one-shot OPA enemies. That is fucking awesome, right? But then... But then you... 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 you you fucking missed the boat again! With... With the Skull Masher! Like... If... I... I just... And, and... And it's... You just... And you made a DLC! You made the Community Ward on a DLC! Like, I mean, even though this is to sell the Game of the Year edition, I understand that... I understand that, Gearbox, but you also gotta understand... That you gotta give people a little bit of a bone. It's cool to have, like, you know, some of the enemies that we have in, uh, you know, the uh, community reward, you know, inside of this daily target system where you get entries into the sweepstakes. It's cool that you're putting them in a the DLC. That's fine. I got no problem with that because this is to, uh, you know, th this is to just sell fucking Game of the Year editions. I, I, I fully understand that. Like, as, as a person that's run a business in my life, I know, I know exactly what you need to do to make money, and I understand that. But the community goal is something that everybody has been working towards. And I mean, just you, you, you couldn't, you could have picked a better, and you could have, you could have picked blue. We have a red crystal lick and a blue crystal lick, and everybody's like, let's give it to the red crystal lick. So, so only. 70% of the people that have been working towards this goal can receive this goal, you know? How about... How about no, Gearbox? How about no, Scotty? <laughs> Just... I don't know. I mean, I fucking love this game. I really do. But, like... Oh, man. I know you guys are trying to listen to the community, and I know you guys, if you took all of the community suggestions... You know, the game would probably be a hot fucking mess, but, you know, we're already there. I'm already, I'm already waist deep in a hot mess right fucking now, Gearbox. And, uh, Randy! Why, Randy? Why would you do? I'm done. I'm done. This is, I'm, I'm, this commentary has been, has been ended because my name is Jay. More than I have to kill. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could leave a thumbs up on this video, I would highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos because I am waist deep in a hot mess and I just am swimming in shit. Just, yeah. Thanks for watching and I'm going to see you guys later.